Well, the minority in Parliament has filed a motion for a bipartisan uh, probe into circumstances leading to the killing of two uh, policemen allegedly involved in bullion van robberies in the country. In a private member's motion signed by ranking member of the Defence and Interior Committee, James Agalga, and Medina MP Francis Xavier Susu, it stated that considering the high rate of police involvement in the bullion van attacks and related killings, which they say have become highly suspicious, and are impugning the integrity of the Ghana Police Service, there is the need for a full-scale public inquiry into the attacks and related murders. On Monday, March 7, 2022, the police conducted a raid at Botiman near Ashaiman. Constable Reindorf Jima and Lance Corporal Stephen Kwekut Nyame, who had been arrested in connection with the bullion van robberies, were killed during what police uh, say was an exchange of gunfire between some criminals and the police. Director of Police Public Affairs, DCOP Kwesiofori, says the two policemen were taken to the hideout of some suspects involved in the bullion van robberies as part of the investigations when they were shot dead during the exchange of gunfire. They opened fire on the police and the police also retaliated and that is why we said we believe some of them are have sustained injuries and are pulling to medical authority to provide us with needed information should okay. they come for treatment okay when you say they open fire on the police who opened fire on the police Oh, we are talking about the criminals. We are saying great. So those criminals cannot open fire good. on Issa. Good. We're so saying that there was an intelligence-led operations, a field operations that the two sustained injuries. Finally, I just want this to be very clear. Uh, this will be for you. Were they part of the police team that went to Bortemann, or they were in Bortemann part of the criminals? We indicated that they were under arrest, and in the course of the special exercise at Bortemann, uh, they suffered injuries sent to police hospital and they passed on. So you took them to Bortemann? But we were in the company of the police. Were you not wearing any protectives, uh, these persons who went to, uh, you know, as part of the uh, intelligence exercise? Let me say that it, it depends. Even if you are in a protective gear, it depends upon where the bullet hit. Well, let's hear now from James Agalga on the bipartisan probe into those circumstances leading uh, to the killing of the two policemen allegedly involved in bullion van robberies in the country. Executive hasn't shown any commitment and to um, having this matter investigated. And that is why we thought that, look, Parliament can deal with this. And the way to go is to file a private member's motion to have a bipartisan committee, and we want membership of that co bipartisan committee to be drawn from the Defence and Interior Committee and the Constitutional, Parliamentary and Legal Affairs uh, Committee to probe, publicly inquire into the circumstances surrounding the um, killing, or if you like the murder, of the two police officers who were arrested in connection with the bullion van robberies and were in police custody. And then they told us that they went on an intelligence-led operation in the company of the two police officers. And in the course of executing the operation, there was heavy exchange of gunfire and only the two officers who were being held by the police service were the ones who lost their lives. The story on the face of it is difficult to comprehend. Now, if you consider the fact that these two individuals were implicated by the police themselves in the bullion van attacks, now they are no more. It means that we're going to lose very important evidence relative to the bullion van robberies. But I see. You, you, additionally, right. Parker, additionally, is it not troubling that the bullion van robberies clearly from the every indication was orchestrated by elements within the police service? That is a compelling reason why we should have a probe. But do you have the buying of your coalition on the other side? 
Well, this is a private member's motion. Mm. You think they'll support the motion? Yes, we expect them to support the motion because it is for it is it is meant to achieve, I mean, something that should inure to the benefit of all. We want to restore the confidence that the public ought to have with our police service. But, 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 but this particular I mean, incident does not uh, contribute in ensuring that public would have confidence in the police administration. So how soon do you expect the House to quickly put together yes, a yes, committee? Yes, yes, yes. Given the sensitive nature of the matter, mm -hmm. I expect Mr. Speaker to deal very expeditiously with this matter, compose the committee, and we would have a public inquiry. The cameras should capture the inquiry. And at the end of the day, we would help to build a police service that is capable, that has the confidence of the public, and that can deliver.